Welcome to Royal Secrets. According to a Vanity Fair excerpt from Katie Nichols' new book, Prince William and Kate Middleton were relieved when Prince Harry and Meghan Markle left the royal family. Since the Duke and Duchess of Sussex decided to leave the royal family, there has reportedly been a rift between Harry and William. This rift widened following Harry and Meghan's 2021 interview with Oprah Winfrey. Harry and Meghan claimed in the interview that the royal family disregarded Meghan's mental health when she was pregnant, that members of the family made racial remarks about their son Archie's skin, and that Kate Middleton made Meghan cry the week before her wedding. It's true that things had gotten so heated between the Willises and Sussexes that William and Kate felt a sense of relief when they took a step back according to an unnamed source who spoke to Katie Nichol for her upcoming book about the royal family, the new royals. Queen Elizabeth's legacy and the future of the crown. The Prince and Princess of Wales felt like the drama was gone when Meghan and Harry retired as senior royals, according to a Vanity Fair excerpt from the book by Nichol. Given the turbulent interactions between the Sussexes and the rest of the royal family since they announced their departure in January 2020, such impression turned out to be false. Nickel also claimed that despite the fact that the two were frequently spotted together in the days following Queen Elizabeth's passing, William still hasn't forgave Harry for everything that has transpired between them. Just two days after the Queen passed away, William invited Harry and Meghan to go on a walkabout with him and Kate at Windsor Castle. The brothers also marched side by side behind their grandmother's coffin during her funeral services, never content. Exposing King Charles's reputation as a demanding boss and his work ethic, former royal household employees of King Charles have opened up about their interactions with him and revealed some important facts regarding his function as their employer. Never content. Exposing King Charles's reputation as a demanding boss and his work ethic. Former royal household employees of King Charles have opened up about their interactions with him and revealed some important facts regarding his function as their employer. King Charles can be a demanding employer, according to those who talk to the Times, so working for him is not like working a typical eight-hour shift. He was demanding since he was constantly working, according to one insider. Every day of the week. Never pauses. He might want to call you about something at any time. Working on his papers, ideas, and box projects. The tempo is quite rapid. King Charles is also never satisfied with himself or what he has achieved, claims a former member of the royal household. His immediate surroundings struggle to keep up with him. He has incredible endurance. He would drive people hard, the person continued. He constantly urged others to take action and was bursting with ideas. A private secretary would have a massive workload. He held firm beliefs. Additionally, he had a good sense of humor, which was entertaining. He hardly ever directed it at the person. He would become irate over something, and it would happen. He'd fling something at you. He would quickly go from zero to 60 and then back down. He would get annoyed by everything, especially the media. Former Queen Elizabeth Press Secretary Dickie Arbiter remembered a scenario in which the monarch became irate. King Charles had an outburst directed towards the courier as Mr. Arbiter and another staff member were walking a short distance away from him. Mr. Arbiter reportedly recalled saying, I said sotto voce, if someone talked to me like that, I'd tell them to screw off, according to the Times. Loudly enough for King Charles to hear. He appeared to smile just a little bit, but he understood what I was saying. He was left with no choice except to fire me. He didn't, though. Author Catherine Mayer, who has written on King Charles, cited a businessman she spoke with who organized an event at the royal family's residence. The businessman reportedly discussed the glaring defects in how the royal household is run and expressed his belief that staff employees deliberately create problems in order to inform the Queen that they have found a solution. After King Charles married Queen Consort Camilla, another former member of the household who worked for him recalled. Someone commented to me early in my tenure how quite a lot of people in that world see it as fairly zero-sum. He is not speaking to me if he is with you, and he is not reading my note if he is with you and reading your note. Well, it's a court, right? They continued. Therefore, in our situation, there were two people who are the source of all power, and everyone wants to be around them and get their drink from...